Um, you know, this is new from Centroid, and there's a lot of hype about it, and everything that I've seen just looks phenomenal. So I can't wait to get my CNC lathe converted over to this. I have a Ethernet smooth stepper with a C11G breakout board, and I'm running just conventional stepper motors and uh, drivers from automation technology. But major reason why I want to switch over is it doesn't look like anytime soon Mach 4 is going to support uh, canned roughing cycles like a G71, G72. And an Acorn should support that. And that's going to be a huge time saver for me the way that I do my CAD. Um, or my CAD and my CAM. So I'm running Kipware T, which is excellent for turning. Um, way easier to figure out for me than using Fusion 360. And uh, Kipware T will let you import a DXF and then it will create a canned roughing cycle and a finishing cycle. You can manually create a roughing cycle uh, that'll work with Mach 3, but it's inefficient, it takes a lot longer to set up, so don't want to ramble on too much longer. I'm going to get this going, and then um, I'm building an enclosure for the lathe. Um, I've ordered closed-loop steppers, so we're going to convert this over to Acorn, put in the closed-loop stepper motors and drivers, and get that lathe up and running, and it should be more precise. The one feature that I found out after ordering the acorn that I'm absolutely looking forward to is ball screw mapping. So you can actually map for the inconsistency or inaccuracy in your ball screws, which for the x-axis of the lathe is going to really help to increase accuracy so I can dial in uh, parts tolerances for, you know, uh, for fit, for bearings, and things like that when I uh, plan to make some components. So. shielded Ethernet cable. So that's going to be the board itself. A sheet on uh, where to go to get started. It looks like this is the um, the bench test for uh, getting your computer or your PC set up for um, using the acorn, they give you that diagram, so that's pretty cool. And this has got to be the power supply. So, you know, as of recently, I've been watching these for a while, they started including this relay board, which is going to be nice. So the relay board, it's just a direct plug-in. It's pre-wired to the power supply. Power supply is pre-wired for the board. Everything is really awesome that they um, kind of pre-did all of that for you. And the board itself. So, it looks like um, power input, you know, it's already pre-wired, relay board's already pre-wired. I'm going to be ditching the C11G, I'm not going to try to use the DB25 output, so I'm going to put my inputs direct to the board. I'm going to put my uh, outputs to the uh, closed loop stepper drivers right from the board. Yeah, so not using the DB25. And I do have an encoder on the way, so the encoder hook up here, I'll have to get a DB9 connector and figure that out. Still not sure how I'm going to um, drive the encoder. I think I can get away with uh, using t uh, rather large timing belt pulleys that I can bore out the center of one of them to put on the shaft of the spindle itself. If not, um, probably will cut some nylon gears on the laser cutter and then just do it as a gear drive, so one to one ratio. But just wanted to show this off, and that's pretty much it. Look for more videos to follow with uh, getting this installed, getting this up and running, so I'm pretty excited. 
I uh, hope you guys are too. And thanks for watching.